Hi guys, so in this short video we are going to go over how to select by attribute in QGIS 3.4. So we are going to select just the national parks out of a layer which has all parks in the United States. So to start out with, I want to go over to my parks layer. I am going to right click on it and open the attribute table. And we can see that we have a field called the FCC code or the Federal Communications Code. Now, as we looked in the exercise, um, we Googled the FCC code for parks and found that D83 is the code that is associated with national parks. So we want to create a Boolean statement that will select for the FCC code D83. So to do this, I'm going to go to select features using an expression and I am going to build a statement. So I'm going to go down to fields and values and select the FCC code. And by double clicking on it, I move it over to my query builder. Now I'm going to click on all unique values. This will pull all of the unique values associated with that FCC code in the table. So I'm going to click on the equals operator to build my Boolean statement and then I'm going to come over here and double click on D83 to move that over to my query builder. Now I could just type this in, however QGIS and most GIS software is really picky about the syntax for a query. So for example, you notice that we have double quotes around the field and single quotes around the attribute. If you don't have the right type of quotes, you'll just get an error message. So it's often a lot easier to use the automatic query builder until you become really comfortable with the syntax associated with a specific software. So now I click on select features and I can close this and close this and notice that I have uh, all of the yellow here are my parks which are selected. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take the parks that are selected and save them into a new layer so that we have a layer that is just the national parks. So to do this we right click on parks, we say export and save feature as. So I'm just going to check my settings here. I want to save it as an Esri shape file. I am going to put it in the same folder with all of my other data. And I'm giving it a descriptive name. I already have a national parks because I've done this a couple of times already this morning. Um, so I'm going to call this national parks too. And I'm going to double check that it is in the right coordinate reference system. In this case, I want it in the projected WGS84 pseudo Mercator. And now I want to save only the selected features. If I do not click this box, it will just export a copy of all of the parks. Um, and I want to only save the uh, national parks and um, everything else looks good, so I'm going to click OK. So now we can see in this orange color, uh, I have my new layer called National Parks 2, and it is just the National Parks. OK, happy trails.